May the storm of gaming be with you. What is up, Grand Star Legion and YouTube? Storm Striker SX9 here with another one run challenge game. The next game I will be playing is The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, which came out back in 2002 and 2003. So, yeah, um, this is a fairly decent chapter of the Elder Scrolls series and one that is also the first ever 3D of the game of the Elder Scrolls that came out for the original Xbox and PC back in 2002 and 2003. So yeah, um, let's turn down the music. Hear my voice. There we go. So yeah, as usual, I'll be playing this game casually with game overs and deaths included, and there will be mods in this game as well. So yeah, um, they do have mods for this game for the PC version only, and you can find Morrowind on Steam on the Bethesda Launcher and on the Xbox One Game Store. It's also on the Xbox 360 Game Store. If you still have an Xbox 360, there you go. It's also on the original Xbox. If you want to get the original game, there you go. But yeah, it's on Steam, Bethesda Launcher, on PC, and for the Xbox, it's on the Xbox One Game Xbox One, backwards compatibility list, and it's on the Xbox, 3 Xbox 360 backwards compatibility list. It works on both. So, there you go. This is also one of my favorite games of the Elder Scrolls series. It's a little tough to get used to as well, as the combat is a bit more unforgiving sometimes. But, yeah, um... So, let's get started. Each event is preceded by prophecy. In the waning years of the third era of Tamriel, a prisoner born on a certain day to uncertain parents was sent to Underguard. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison, first by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? You're just gonna call me Storm Battle Rage. No. There you go. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind, 
I'm sure they'll let us go. Quiet. Here comes the guard. This is where you get off. Come with me. The usual controls to move is W, A, S, N, D, and forward, forward, back, and mouse to look around. You That's the controls for say. the PC version. By the way, I'm playing the Bethesda launcher version of Morrowind. I also have it on Steam as well. As I said, uh, I've, I've got mods in this, so that's only available for the PC version. Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. Spacebar to open doors or use things. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. Let's see. Okay, different races. The races are the same throughout all of the games. There's nothing different about it. So, let's take a look at these. Argonian. Breton, Dark Elf, High Elf, Imperial, Khajiit, Nord, Orc, Redguard, Wood Elf. I think we're going to be an Orc for this one. All right. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. Head on in. Yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Let's see. Answer the questions, give him the info, or fill out forms yourself. I think I'm going to fill out a form myself. Yes, you can make your own class in this game just like in Oblivion. Elder Scrolls for Oblivion was able to make custom classes. So, strength and endurance. Long blade, heavy armor, axe weapons, blunt weapons. And minor area will have armorer, athletics, light armor, maybe, and acrobatics. And hand to hand. Let's see, what what are we gonna be for this? How about Dominator? Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? 
All right, here's where some of the mods come in. I have a mod that adds more burst signs to what we already have. So, as usual, Fifteen to strength and fortify attack by ten points. Do that. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. All right. Bowser Storm. Bowser. Baz. Storm. Battle Rage. Orc. Dominator. User defined class. Specialization combat. Wire sign. Everything looks right. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. All right. Continue through to the next building and talk to Sullus Gravius. Ascar must be looking for that dagger. Okay. And there will be a lot of looting in this game, too, so... And a lot of reading. There's less voice acting in this one than there is on uh, All the Scrolls for Oblivion. You don't really have to read this, but we're, all we're doing is playing the game. We don't really have to read all that. I've already played this game like a, thousands of times, you know. It's been out for almost 20 years. All right. Save the game. Storm 2. Gotta always make sure to save the game. Alright. Yes, I have your ring. There you go. This is a wondrous encounter. Welcome. Let's see. Just adding gold to the character so that I can buy what I need. By the way, that was the cheat menu, which is also only in the PC version of the game. Part, it's one of the mods I got. It allows cheat mode. 
Oh, it's already come in the game anyway. So, all right, let's go ahead and buy our necessary needs. Let's see. I think we'll go with this iron battle axe here. And I don't know how I picked up the spoon, but okay. <laughs> You've piqued right. my interest. Please, share your thoughts. There you go. You click the left the right mouse button to open up the inventory menus. Go talk to this guy over here because I added a mod that adds more merchants into the game. Spells. Thanks for that. Let's hear it. Okay. I'm waiting. Let's hear it. My patience is limited. My patience is running thin. There's another merchant, also from a mod. Let's see. What do you have? This guy sells potions. Yeah, I do have a mod that expands Sydney. Sydney. -a. All right, let's head on over to Balmora. That's where we have to go next. So we don't have to walk all the way over there. We make a special trip just for all right. Same low price. And we're already there. Fast travel. we got here 
Creep, Creeper of Shadows. Another barter. What do you got? Amulet of Divine Intervention. Amulet of Light. Store Health. Oh, I'll take that. I'll take two of those. Enchanting. I can enchant a weapon. Oh, I need soul stones for... Yeah, you need soul stones to be able to enchant. There we go. Here's where we need to go. What's this about? Let's get some training done. Bring up the speech craft. And there we go. That's good for now. I'm just an old man with a skooma problem. You're probably going, huh? <laughs> yes. Your journal has been updated. Blades trainers, blades. Harmona Tong. Imperial Cult. Fort Moon Moth. Fighters Guild. Imperial Legion. Mage's Guild, Morag Tong, which is basically the Dark Brotherhood. All right. Orders. What are your orders? Okay. 
Let's get out of here. We got what we needed from here. Now we gotta go to the Fighters Guild. How many of y'all out there remember this game though? This game is very well known, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to join the Fighters Guild. Let's do that. Join the Fighters Guild. Sign me up. Alright, we're now in the Fighters Guild. Stranger. Let's hear it. Training. Thanks for that. What do you have for training? Athletics. What do you want? Okay, I'm listening. Training. Heavy armor. Oh, that was so come in handy. what do you have for sale Ebony Claymore. Ooh. Guess I'll take the Ebony Claymore as well. Let's go ahead and see what armor he has. There we go. Offer. Now we're going to be doing quite a bit of damage. That's going to, this is going to be interesting.
Don't press your luck. You're on your honor. All right. World. Where do we have to go? We have to go to a Droom Boomer ruin called a name that I cannot pronounce. Come on, Nancy. What do you want? Okay. That way. Oh, what do we got here? Another merchant. Uh, come on, then. Say something or move on. Spiked club. Hmm. There's going to be merchants all over the place. Speak, traveler. So... But if you guys enjoy this first video of Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, I will do more of this. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Goes the athletics. Let's see. There's Fort Moon Moss right there. Let's go take a look in there, shall we? Again, let's save it. Always save it before you enter something, because you never know if the game may crash or whatnot. Or the game may take too long to load. And there we go. Let's hear it. More merch. You like to dance close to the fire, don't you? Let's see. This right here is also from a mod. It adds more armor and weapons to the game, more shops. I think I'll go with the guardian shield, that'd be cool. Open. I think I'm good with the sword that I have. Wait. Dude. You gotta learn how to click offer or you don't get it. I had one job.
Hmm. I think I'll go with that one. Click offer. There you go. All right. Now we got some decent armor as to put on now. So let's put that on real quick. Get rid of what we're wearing now. Wait. We're not caring so much. All right. Now we're good. Got some decent armor now. For now, of course. This is an Imperial outpost. Yes. One of them where you can, you know, stop and get equipment you need. All right. Let's have a look at the uh, journal here. We need to go here. Groomer ruin called Archaic Hand. Arkson. Head south out of town past the Silt Strider port. Then cross bridges cast over the Odai River. At the signpost, head north towards Caldera. Immediately on the right, see a signpost for Morlog Mar. Turn right and head uphill on an old road to cross an ancient Drummer Bridge. For Mamea, the entrance to Exer uh, Arkingham is on the east side of the Foyada, south of the bridge. Turn a crank on a pipe op nearby to open the doors. So, we need to go back this way. We got the armor we wanted, and we have the weapon we wanted. Where's Caldera? No. Head north towards Caldera. And we are going north. But like I said, if you guys enjoy this game, I will do more of this. So, it'll be in parts as a series. Aha, there you go. Head more to Caldera. I'm doing. And if I do turn this into a series, each episode will be 45 minutes long. Because there's a lot of traveling in this game, so... 
If I have to, it may end up being 50 minutes near, to nearly an hour. Because this is a fairly long game. Lots, lot of stuff to do. I am not kidding. There's a lot of do. Lot there's there is a lot to do in this game. And a lot of fighting. That's a lot of damage. So we must continue. Okay. That must be Caldera. One of the city towns. Yep. What do we got here? Shanks Shovel. Traitor. Traitor! Not just playing. Armorer. The prey approaches. Yeah. I think we're going to stop here for now. Let's save it. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please remember to click that like button, comment below, share with your friends, add the favorites, and click that subscribe button. I am Stormstriker SX9 of Grand Star Legion. I will see y'all next time.